Hi, Ken here again. Um, here we are in our diner scene, and at this point in the project, I'm really kind of uh, getting the urge to start setting up materials and textures. I know it's not quite time yet, and we're not done with the modeling, but we've set up some preliminary, at least placeholder, colors on on these objects here. So let's just talk a little bit about color selection. Um, for the time being, we've set our seats to red here. So let's pick our diner uh, building object here. Let's change our uh, UV image. Well, no, let's let's leave that where it is. Um, let's select the material for our diner building, and let's go ahead and add a new material. Okay. Now there's several things that we could do with color, but our our seats are on the red side of the color wheel here. So one um, thought is to go opposite on the color wheel, and let's make our let's make our building on the inside here. Ooh, that's a little strong. Let's see, we'll make it uh, a color slightly, like a slight bluish green color, which is opposite from red on the color wheel. Adds a nice contrast there. Um, just something to look at for now. Um, we can live with that for a little bit and see what we think about it before we make the final choice. Okay, so the building here in the background, let's have a look at that. Okay. Let's add a new material to our building in the back, and it looks like the color of that building is going to be somewhere over here around red. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the eyedropper and just pick uh, that color. And let's yeah, we're kind of we're over towards red, so so we're staying over on this side of the color wheel for for the color of the building that we picked right there. Now that um, looks a little dark to me, so I'll just go ahead and lighten it up just so, just while we're playing around here. So, just adds a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little something to think about while we're playing with, uh, with the colors here. So, let's see, I've picked uh, this object, well, Let's go back to the layer that our building is on. We will go ahead and focus on our building. Let's pick that dental molding object and we're going to give that uh, this material. Let's pick this object. We will give that the same material. Okay. Now the windows we know are going to be different, but we want the whole brick face of the building to be basically this color because I'm thinking about using a uh, painted brick texture. Okay. Um, that's enough playing with colors. Let, let's go ahead and finish modeling out this building. So let's pick our building one. Go back into edit mode. Um, up at the top of the building it looks like there's uh, another little detail here and then we have these uh, little, I don't know what you call them, turrets, these little things that stick out on the top. So let's concentrate on making those. Alright, go back in the vertex select. Just no other reason that that's what I prefer to work in. Um, control R. Uh, make a loop cut. Uh, we'll leave it right there. Let's go back into orthographic mode, front. We'll center our selection on that edge loop. Control R. We'll add another edge loop across here. And I think uh, a little thinner, probably about there looks good. Okay, with this entire edge loop still selected, um, you can see we're still selected all the way around. Let's shift alt right click this edge loop. <clears throat> now that whole face loop is selected. Um, remember the lines are an edge loop. Two lines next to each other defines a face loop. <clears throat> Let's hit E to make an extrusion from that selection, left click to lock it right in place. 
All right. Now I want to look at this from uh, edge view. I think. Let me move our 3D cursor out of the way. I want to look at it right on the edge there, and I'm going to hit S to scale our whole selection up. Hit Shift so we get a little finer control over the scaling. Up. I want to um, right-click the cancel. Scale Shift Z because we want to scale only in X and Y. Hold Shift and we're going to scale that up. <clears throat> Not too much, I think. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, go back into object mode and I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, bring our color back for just a second. <clears throat> yeah, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so front view now again. We will go back into edit mode. All right, let's put those little these little turret objects up at the top. Um, <clears throat> we select that corner vertex. Uh, Shift S cursor to selected to put our 3D cursor right on that vertex. <clears throat> I'm going to hit uh, in edit mode. I'm going to hit uh, Shift A, and we'll add a cube. Um, center in on that cube. Uh, let's scale the whole thing down. I don't know something about like that. Uh, from front uh, orthographic view, remember if we grab, we're just going to be moving in Z and X. We won't be moving in Y at all. Um, I want to put that. Right on the corner, about like so. Look at it from the side. Well, let's scale that down in Y. Scale Y will make it a little bit thinner. <clears throat> um, grab it and put it right down on right down on that vertex there. Okay. Let's see what we got. Grab it in X, bring it right over to the corner. Um, does that look about the right? Uh, let's see. I want to uh, box select to these top vertices, bring them up a little bit. I think it was looking a little short. Um, it looks all right, but maybe we'll bring these over, make it a little bit bigger. And I don't know, I think that looks about the right thickness. So let's go back in the solid view. Um, a to deselect everything, Control R. We'll put an edge cut right about here because we want to make that little cap on the top. I'm going to go into um, face select mode and use my circle select, and we'll select all these faces. And we're going to uh, E to extrude, left click to lock it in place, scale, shift, Z, because we want to scale an X and Y and not Z. Um, just scale that up a little bit. <clears throat> okay, I think, let's see, back in object mode, I think that looks pretty good, right? I'll be able to make it a little taller, maybe. Back in the vertex mode, deselect everything. Z to go into wireframe, B to box select. Grab all those, bring them up just a little bit more. Make it a little more dramatic, I think. Okay. <clears throat> now, if I hover my mouse over one of the vertices, hit L to select everything that's linked to it, because remember, we added this in edit mode as a separate uh, mesh, so it's part of the same object, but not physically connected to the mesh, at least not just yet. We can if we need to later on. All right, so let's uh, shift D, X to lock our transform to the X axis. Move it all the way over to about the other corner. We'll make a finer adjustment in a second. We'll shift D it one more time. Move it uh, about in the middle. Oh, I forgot to lock it to the... The good thing is, if you move it way over here, you can still hit X, and it will lock it to transform to the X axis. 
So um, I'll just eyeball it right in the middle, probably about there looks good. All right. So here's here's our building now. <clears throat> Not too bad. I think that looks I think that looks pretty good. Um, some details that we might want to think about putting on the building. I don't know if we need an awning or not. Um, I don't know that I'm a big fan of that either. I mean, we, we can try it maybe later on, but let's let's at least try an awning and see what we think about it. All right, I'm going to put one over this big window here first. I think that we probably want to be. Um, a separate object, I think. Um, let me go back into Edge Select, and yeah, we'll select that edge there. Hit Shift D to duplicate. Left click to lock it in place. Go into Object Mode. Um, okay, we, we've locked that in place. Now I want to do P to separate by selection. Now go back in the object mode. <clears throat> Select, uh, let's see. I'm gonna select that other edge that we just made. And we'll name it uh, awning. I think that's how you spell awning. Okay. Back into solid. Um, we'll go into side view here. Let's see. Well, I want to look at it from there. Okay. We're going to um, extrude. Uh, lock our extrusion. Oops. Okay, we need to go back into edit mode, sorry. Uh, select everything in that object. Uh, e to extrude. Y to lock the transform to the Y axis and just kind of pull it out <clears throat> about there. Okay. Now let's uh, let's see. Pull that down. <clears throat> about like yeah, about like so. Um, all right. Let's go back into perspective mode and back up a little bit. E to extrude, Z to lock to the Z axis, pull a little flap down there. Uh, does that add interest? I think maybe it does. I don't know that I want one over the door because I don't want to hide this detail at the door, but maybe over this window here. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we'll I think we'll keep that over the window. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. So <clears throat> let's uh, Alt I, whoops, uh, Control I in object mode to invert our selection. Hit H to hide everything else, and let's do a little bit of modeling on this uh, this object here. Now um, our object origin is way down here, so let's uh, <coughs> let's fix let's fix that so it's just a little bit neater. Transform. Uh, uh, let's see. Origin to center of mass. I think yeah, that's that works a little bit better. All right. So let's see. What do we want to do? Uh, I don't think we want this coming out just uh, absolutely perfectly straight, right? So let's uh, go back into edit mode. Let's control R. Uh, Put an edge loop right there. Let's see, what if we grab that and just kind of pull it down just a little bit, like so. Okay, looks pretty good. Now, this edge along here, I'm fairly certain we want to be straight, but. Uh, this edge down here might want to look a little, a little wavy, I think. So, let's see, what can we do there? Um, 
I'll tell you what, we'll just do uh, control R and we'll put some loop cuts, um, yeah, about that many. Yeah. Okay, we'll go into um, vertex mode. Let's uh, alt right click that to select that whole bottom row there and let, let's see if we can try something here. Um, okay, I want to. Uh, no, I don't know that we want that. Okay. Um, I'm looking for. I think there's a. Uh, Let's see, random, there it is, random fall off. Um, let's see, do you have access to that down here? That's our proportional editing type of element to snap to. That's okay. Uh, I don't know that we have, at least I can't remember where the access is to it down here, but we can do mesh. Um, transform. Oh, where was that? Well, let's just see if we hit randomize. Yeah, okay, there, there we go. That's what I was after. Uh, just making that bottom look a little, a little wavy. Let's go back in the object mode. Um, Alt H to bring everything back. Um, <clears throat> let's give this object smooth shading. Okay. Yeah, I think along the bottom there, that little ragged edge looks looks a little bit better. Um, trying to think if we need to give this a subsurf modifier. Let's check it out and see. We will give it a subsurf modifier. Um, back in edit mode, uh, eh, we might want to just sharpen up that there a little bit. Uh, sharpen up that. We definitely want to sharpen up the top. The bottom will leave like that this we want it to be like there's a support bar under there so let's uh, we'll put one there move it up pretty close we'll put one here move it up pretty close because we want it to look like that is fairly sharp uh, so we want it to look like there's a support bar there okay let's go back into All right, I think that looks pretty good as awnings go. Um, yeah. All right. So let me um, select all of this. I want to scale it out in X just a little bit, like so. <clears throat> go back into face select mode and select that face shift s cursor to selected now I'm going to add um, <clears throat> let's see go back into object mode and shift a and we're going to add a uh, um, cylinder here this is going to be our uh, the support bar that comes out to hold the awning out. So over here in our options, let's put uh, align to view. Um, we don't care about the uh, ends being filled out there. 32 vertices is way too much. We'll bring it down to the I don't know the eight that we've been using for everything else. For radius, let's slide that way on down. We want a thin little uh, something like that, maybe. Even that might be too. Here, let's bring that on down. 
Yeah, something something like that. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's uh, slide that on over here. Scale and Y. that up so yeah right right about there back just a hair so it's not intersecting with the front at all okay so, so now it's uh, attaching from the wall out to the awning um, shift D that object X to constrain to the x-axis so I'll move it over here somewhere um, oh wow I got lucky it looks like it's right in about the right spot on that side okay so we have an awning now on that building. Uh, I don't know, is that... Let's see, is that what we want? What do you think? Does that awning look okay? That object we definitely need to hide. That's our human reference, remember. Um, let's go back into material. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that object we definitely want to put a different material on, or a different color. Uh, so let's um, okay. I'm going to make that its own copy. And we'll just change the color. Now we've been going with the reds over here. What about let's stick with some of the blues over here? Maybe how about uh, maybe a darker. I don't know, that's too bright. Think, how about, yeah, how about something, <clears throat> something about like that. Um, don't know that we need that awning there, but you know, we can always take it out if we don't like it later on. Okay, uh, I think the modeling for our building here is just about done. Um, we can add that little plaque by the side of the door, if we like. Um, I was thinking of doing that in texturing, but it might look nice if there's a little plaque there. So, All right, let's pick our building object. Um, we can do this really quick. Uh, hit that face, um, hit I to inset, bring it on down, uh, something like that. And then we'll scale that face in Z down to about that size. Uh, drag it down a little bit just so it's, I don't know, more in line with the reference. Um, we'll E to extrude that face and we'll bring it out along the Y axis, just just a hair. Alright. Then let's uh, I to inset that face. We'll bring it in just a little bit. Uh, e to extrude Y pull it back. So, alright, we have a little, whatever you want to call that thing, uh, I think that's a thing in restaurants where they would stick the menu on the outside, or maybe that looks like it's some kind of a bulletin board, but I don't know. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of interest on the side of the door. Um, I think, for the time being, I'm going to call that building uh, as far as the modeling stage goes, complete. Now, of course, we may put some chairs and tables and whatnot out on the sidewalk, but I think the main part of the building is is done. So that's uh, building number one done. I haven't decided if I'm going to make a video of building number two or if I'm just going to go ahead and do it and show you the results and maybe uh, talk about what I did for a minute. Uh, at any rate, I think that is going to be it for this video. Um, so, so far we have uh, one of our outside buildings uh, modeled here. I think it looks pretty good for our scene. Uh, we have the good start on the inside of our diner with our table and seats. Uh, a few props for the table here. Uh, our blinds. I think we're coming along. So, thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much.